Okay, this is a true story. True story. True story. I went to a friendlies. I was I went to a friendlies once when I was young, when I was 12 years old. And I didn't have enough money for the the big baller breakfast that I wanted, that I really wanted. So I just decided to get a bagel and cream cheese. So I order that and I'm waiting for it. And across sitting across from me, across the aisle, are these two old ladies. Old and kind of fat and, you know, the short poofy hair and, and glasses and the whole deal. Looking back, they're probably they're probably dead now. They're probably dead. At least they're probably very close to death. If they're alive, they're they're definitely gasping. They're in their last gasp. Um, because they were pretty old already then. Anyway, I'm waiting for my bagel, and I noticed, I noticed while I was waiting, out of the corner of my eye, that these women, these old women, I'm 12 years old, I notice that these women are glancing at me, and they're, they're casting glances in my direction, and I can't hear what they're saying, but they're, I, I hear them murmuring and looking at me, and it's... Make me a little uncomfortable. Don't look at me, old ladies. So I sort of make a concerted effort to just look ahead. I don't look over to my right because that's where the glancing, murmuring old ladies are. And I don't look to my left because there's a mirror there. Don't look at me, old ladies. I just look straight ahead, very still, very stoic, just waiting for my bagel. And I get my bagel and I eat it and it's fine and I'm getting ready to go. And these old ladies are checking out before me. They're both up at the register behind me. Then all of a sudden I feel these hands, these big arms, grab me from behind. Softly, but suddenly. And I'm a bit... I tense up a bit. I get a little like... You know, because I don't know what is happening. And this old lady is holding me and she puts her face right next to my face she's leaning down she has and she's 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 like in my ear her face is right next to my ear and she says i just want you to know i just want you to know things always get worse before they get better and i you know i i had i had absolutely no idea what was going on i was just like huh, huh, yeah you're right but I don't. I I didn't even know she was referring to me. I didn't know what was going on. Things always get worse before they get better. Is is that a threat? Was she threatening me? She's got me in a headlock. I can't do nothing. I'm 12 years old. Then with her big hand, her I saw her big hand was full of change, and she put down a bunch of change on the table, just coins, but a big fist full of coins and a lot of silver in there. And it's in there. It's like almost five dollars. It was like three dollars. And they were like, "Get whatever you want. Get whatever you want." But, like, it's not enough. It's not enough for the big breakfast. This is the same problem I had when I came in here. If I had pooled this with the money I had before, this would have worked. It's too late. And then I pocketed the change and they left. They left. And I still think about it. How proud they must have felt. Like, wow. We just changed a life. <laughs>